Hi, and welcome back to the Wicked Thrifter Resale Channel. We're back at some Goodwill locations looking for some items to flip on eBay for a profit. Here's our first pick for today. I only paid $4.99 and it was a folk arty, primitive, hand-painted, double-sided cat picture. I thought that was pretty cute. Started out in the wood section at this store. They had some interesting pieces. Not a ton. And this was a carved wood. I believe it's ironwood, but I wasn't 100% certain. It kind of gave me a composite feel. At one time, ironwood pieces would sell for a lot of money, and that price has come down quite a bit. It was a hand-painted, like, home welcome sign. And this is a regret. I wish I would have picked this up. It is signed, and I did a brief search. Unfortunately, Google Lens failed me, and eBay Lens failed me at the store. I ended up putting it back. I wish I would have grabbed it. I was tempted to pick this up for home use. I believe that's just a Target piece. It's a honey jar. I scooped this up. It is a Native American bear figurine. It is signed by the artist on the bottom there. And this had like a decoupage ceramic feel. I can't remember the name. I've sold a few of these in the past, but the price on those generally isn't the highest for the profit compared to what they are selling it for at the store. That was unfortunate. The beak was broke off of it. And this was a more modern cat figurine, so I left that behind. I thought this was cute. It was kind of like a rolly ball. It was more modern. I wasn't sure what the purpose of it was, if it was a toy or if it was just a figurine. I chose to leave it behind. And you see more of those like decoupage ceramic pieces. Ceramic ducks. Some pottery mugs. Giant thumbs up. Some of those actually can sell for a decent amount of money, so keep an eye on those and maybe look them up when you see them. Some figurines. The shelves are actually filling up quite a bit compared to what they were a month or so back, so it seems like people are starting to donate their items, and I think you'll see an uptick in that as well with garage sale season and people donating what's left over. These are some vintage juice glasses. They are actually the smaller size and they had the decanter or jar that went with it. And the price wasn't outrageous, but there's quite a bit listed, so I chose to leave those at the store as well. That platter faked me out. I thought it was ceramic, but it was actually plastic. Here's like the holiday section, checking to see if there's any ornaments. Now is a good time to pick up out of season items and store them for a little bit until they come around. So like some Christmas items now, you can generally get it at a better price when they list or put them out on the shelves closer to Christmas, their prices tend to be higher. And some stores don't actually put out holiday stuff all year round. They hold it back until um, the appropriate season. That was a target bird. However, the, you know, they usually have like a rope around or like a thread around the legs and that was missing. So I left that behind. It's an art pottery pitcher or creamer of some sort. I've scaled back on my pottery purchases just because they are a longer tail item. And until I sell through some of my stuff, unless it's a really unique piece or a piece that I know can sell for a decent amount, I'm trying to not pick them up. These glass, like casket style jewelry boxes sell for a decent amount of money if you can find the right ones. I picked that one up initially um, and you'll see in a little bit that they had a bunch down below. 
And this was a pie bird. Some of these pie birds can sell for a good amount. I end up leaving this one behind. I have a few of them listed in my store right now and they tend to sit for a while. Sorry for the rattly cart. And this was like a blown glass clown. They only wanted $3.99 and I couldn't tell if it was signed. Um, I generally don't like to pick up clear glass items unless they're signed as of late. There, here's more of those casket boxes, but they had used them for floral arrangements and dried pieces and they had it all glued in there. That would have been a lot of work to take that stuff out. They weren't super like great pieces, so I didn't want to grab them. I do end up putting the one that's in my cart back. I thought that was an interesting uh, shelf sitter, like an elf. I think I should have looked that up as well. Some shell art. I'm trying to give you a closer look. I tend to be a little on the shorter side. Like a velvet music box. I used to pick these up quite often. I think they're Kim Lawrence is the name and like Circle of Love. Um, they have come down considerably in price as well. This whole end cap was filled with spice racks. I used to pick these up every time I'd find them as well. They tend to sit around for me now. So the prices they wanted on these were like $14.99 and more. I chose to leave them behind just because of that. And they sell for probably maybe $20 to $30 depending on some of them can sell for a little bit more. These were some wood candlesticks. Candlestick holders, I should say. Those were some drumsticks. I grab these generally anytime I see them. I should have paid more close attention to the prices. I paid $6.99 a piece on them. They sell generally around $39 to $45, and I just recently sold this exact set, so I picked it up because I know they do sell. They tend to sit for a little bit, but they have done well for me in the past. I liked this little bird house, yesteryear pottery. Got a bird on it, um, but the, hang the chain that would hang on it was broken. Some vintage sherbet or parfait dessert glasses. Um, they are the amber color. I don't generally sell those very fast, so I end up leaving that behind. I like the look of these. There was only three, so I end up leaving that. I really liked this picture, but it had been re-glued on the bottom and I couldn't find a current comp on it, though I bet it was probably decent. This looked interesting, but it was more modern and it did not glow. I did check it. Not a ton in the vase section. I thought that looked decent but it was definitely more modern that was a salad on glaze but that was more modern not a lot in the clear section i still check it just to make sure that i'm not ruling out anything like blinko or any like lalique and any of those crystal pieces i like that lantern that would be a fun porch piece Here we're in the dinnerware, not finding a ton. I generally don't find a whole lot in this section. Little bird figurine. Here's some art pottery or studio pottery. It's E-V-L-A, I'm not sure if it's Evla. Um, I believe it's Mike Coons is who made this piece. It was only $6.99, so I scooped that up. This will be a longer tail item, but it is more special than some of the other pieces you come across. 
thought those were going to be the plastic glasses, but they're actually glass. Some more of the housewares section. Checking to see if there's any fun pieces here. Not coming across a ton. Still checking it out to see. That was a large uh, temperature gauge. I haven't seen one quite that big before. And I thought this teapot in the back here might be Mary Inglebright, but it was not. And see, the shelves are a little bit fuller than normal, at least in the last couple weeks. Thought that might be fused glass from when I just glanced at it from the corner of my eye, but it was not. Some more figurines. I scooped this up. These generally sell fairly fast for me. They're like a boot scraper. It's like a scarab or a beetle. I grabbed that. It's actually already sold. So it sold for the full price in $19.97. Um, if you get the real vintage ones, the brass, those ones sell for a lot more money. This was obviously more of a reproduction. Someone painted over that jewelry jar. There's some more modern uh, perfume bottles there. An old jug. There was a wood cross, and this was a blown glass piece as well. Definitely older, but the, the gold accent was worn off of it, and it wasn't super special, so I left that behind. I thought these were neat comedy and tragedy bookends. Definitely a little bit more vintage. Um, but the paint was pretty worn and there was some chipping, so I ended up leaving those behind. And this is a vintage planter. I think it was California Ceramics. Um, I ended up leaving that as well. They just sit for a long time for me. I'm trying to revise that and have a faster sell-through rate. I still will make some exceptions. Not a lot over here. I thought that flag plate would have been fused glass, like a Peggy car piece, but it wasn't. It was flashed, and that was an interesting little bank there. Here we're at another store, and this is a store that prices a lot of stuff up, um, especially in this section. They have like a curated section of items that they handpick. Uh, I thought some of these pieces were neat and was just kind of giving you an idea of the prices they list they put things out for. Like that bird they wanted $24.99, which isn't outrageous, but still kind of high for Goodwill. That was an interesting bowl, and this was like a creamer or sugar shaker. They wanted $18 bucks for it. So I left that behind. There's some Lennox crystal in the back there. I liked that, like, antler candle holder. It's fairly, fairly large um, and a really high price tag on that. I still have some of the same pieces from prior shopping trips you can see on the shelf there. I like that fish jar, but it was kind of high. I was trying to look at something higher on the shelf. I unfortunately didn't get that for you, but in this section, they generally have things priced more reasonable. I scooped up this uh, Ruby Cut to Clear. It is a flash glass perfume bottle. They wanted $14.99, which is a little high, but it can sell between $30 to $40. Some of these can sell for a lot more. There was no chips or cracks. There was a little bit of a rough spot on the end of the stopper, but other than that, there was no damage. And here we're in the figurine section. They actually had quite a few things that I was interested in. This store can be hit or miss. It just depends on who priced the items.
I was looking at that planter stand. They wanted forty dollars for it, which was isn't a bad price. It would have been nice to put on um, our porch. Ended up leaving that behind. I kind of forgot about it by the time I got done. And here's the end cap. The shelves here actually were pretty full, considering generally they're pretty sparse at the store. There's some snow globes, some glass pumpkins. This is the first piece I grab off the shelf. It is a hand carved wood bird. These generally do decent for me. I'll pick them up generally anytime I find them in the store, as long as they're not outrageously priced. They only wanted $4.99 for this one and it did have the maker mark on the bottom. Now this has never happened to me before. I grab this and I will pick them up every time I see them. They sell very well for me. They're like a bronze frog candle holder. But someone came up to me and startled me and asked for it out of my cart. I didn't know how to handle that and I felt pressured to give it to them. What would you do in that situation? I've never had that happen and I hope it never happens again. Um, it's really awkward um, to ask for something out of somebody's cart when it's in there. I mean, I guess in certain circumstances, it's not a big deal, but just let me know what you think. I scooped this up as well. It's like an enameled brass or copper butterfly. There's a few that I picked up at an estate sale that sell for a decent amount of money, so I thought I'd take a chance on that, even though it wasn't signed. I liked that metalwork artwork rose. These had a mid-century look to them. They're like starbursts or puffs that people could put on their wall. I grabbed these. These are good luck folk art chickens. They're generally Native American. And they sell for a good amount of money. Specific ones. They're all signed generally by the artist, so I grabbed those. This looked interesting, but it was a mass-produced piece. I like the hand-turned signed pieces by people. This was a nice bowl, and they did have a coordinating piece, but I left that behind. I grabbed this. It is a tribal piece. It's a wood box, handmade, hand-painted, and it is signed by the artist there. Some of these can go for a decent amount of money as well. And I grabbed this duck. It's hand-painted. Some duck decoys can go for a lot of money, so I always look, this up, look these up when I see them in the store. And that's gonna wrap it up for us today. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you have any questions, just drop them down below. Otherwise, if you can, please like or subscribe to help the channel grow. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great week.